Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a network connection between two computers in Windows 11. And for the purpose of this tutorial I will be using VirtualBox where I will have two Windows 11 virtual machines. In real world scenario you will have these as separate computers. For example in a room or in your apartment or in some other local area network. And what we will do, we will set up or configure network connection and then we will check if this connection works between these two machines. So as you can see I have Windows 11-2 and I have Windows 11. And for both of these if you also want to try it on VirtualBox as I will be showcasing in this video then first click on this of one of your machine and click into settings and go to network. And here where it says network, here attach it to, make sure that you click or check this to bridged adapter. And click on OK and do exactly the same for other virtual machine. Click on it, click here on settings on top and go into network on the left hand side and also make sure that it is in bridged adapter. And that's all what you need to do here in VirtualBox Manager. Now let's go and configure both of these virtual machines. As you can see this first one, if I click on it, this is this one, you can see that this is Windows 11. And if I click on this second one, you can see here at the very top tab, there is Windows 11-2. So these in real life would be separate computers in your network. And first thing what we will do is we will start with our Windows 11 machine, which is this one guys. And we, we will configure network to local area network so it is not being required or accessed by DHCP. I have already done this but anyway I will show you all steps in search type in control panel and here you will see this control panel icon click into it and this pop up window will come up and here you will see network and internet click into network and internet and here click on first tab network and sharing center. Then here on the left hand side you will see change adapter settings. Click into change adapter settings and here you will have this Ethernet. And right click on it and click here on properties. If it, you are prompted then enter your password of your computer. And this pop-up will come up and here select IP Internet Protocol version 4 as you see TCP IPv4. And once it is selected click here on properties. And make sure that you have selected here not obtain IP address automatically but use the following IP address. But I have set here IP address which is 192.168.1.2. Twenty. Do exactly the same. Set this IP for address to 192.168.1.20 and subnet mask click into it and it will populate automatically or type in in there 255.255.255.0 and make sure that you don't have any default gateways so it doesn't connect to any in internet so this will be in ethernet environment and also prefer DNS there is nothing in there and click on OK and as you remember now if we click one more time in there I will show you just one more time so you remember that for this very first computer which is Windows 11 in our scenario we have set this IP address to 192.168.1.20 so make sure that you remember that this is for this computer for our very first machine and for other machine we will set the IP address which ends with not 20 but which ends with 21. So we know the IP addresses and we are able to check or ping the connectivity between two of these machines and make sure that they are on the same network and they are able to communicate. And click OK and close this all down and now let's open the other machine. And on other machine which is Windows 11-2 let's do exactly the same here in search type in control panel. And once you see this icon, control panel, click into it and here we will do exactly the same. We will go into network and internet, we click here into network and sharing center and here on the left hand side click on change adapter settings. And once you see this adapter, right click on it, click on properties, 
And again we are going into Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IP and click on Properties. And this window will come up. This is your DHCP. Currently if it will be on obtain an IP address automatically this means that it will be obtaining it from DHCP server or from DHCP which is in your router if you are in home environment but we select here use the following IP address and here also select IP address 192.168.1.21 like I mentioned for this second machine Windows 11-2 we will have this other IP address and subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 if you click into subnet mask field it will get populated automatically once this is done click on OK and let's close this down and now let's test whether we can connect from this machine Windows 11-2 which ends with IP address with 21 whether we can connect to this other machine which is our Windows 11 so to do that here in search type in CMD or command prompt as you see if once you have typed CMD you just click enter and it will open a command prompt automatically and here type in ping and let's ping that address which is from our first computer and as you remember the IP address of our first computer was 192.168.1.21 and hit enter and as you can see it is pinging it and pinging is taking place and we are able to connect to that machine so we are now on the same network and these two machines are able to communicate in next video i'm going to show you how to create a shared drive in that shared drive we will add folders so as on both of these machines we will create users and these users will be able to use this shared folder from these both computers mm -hmm.